Hello and welcome to BMNG Drive. We're here at the Ski Jump Championship. I'm your host, David N. Ark, and today we start round one of the Ski Jump Championships. This is going to be awesome. All right. Uh, we had 20 default vehicles with Beam NG. We've narrowed it down to the top 16, and we're going to see those uh, vehicles competing for the championship to move on to the next round. So we've got 16 vehicles here. They will be cut down to eight, and then ultimately down to the final four vehicles for Beam NG Drive. In this round, we've got the T Series, we have the ETK 800 Series, the Bolide, and the 1988 Pessima. So let's hurl the T Series over the edge and see what kind of results we can get out of this big old bad boy in the preliminary rounds the t-series truck had the highest score and is definitely the vehicle to beat in the ski jump championships we're rotating just a little but i think we're going to be okay Ooh, we're a little nope that is definitely 200 meters on the distance get this puppy across the finish line and oops wrong key <laughs> all right and so we've got 30.38 deformation and a 16.03 broken that's a lot of broken parts that gives the t-series a first round total of 153.59 that is Amazing. That is definitely the score to beat. So let's see if we can get our truck up out of the ground. There we go. <laughs> this is the hardest part of the T-Series. It's just getting the thing going. <laughs> so let's see, what, let's see what happens here. Oh, that's not going to work. Nope, nope, nope. We're not going to play that game. Uh, that vehicle started getting all kinds of sideways. and Not going to happen. So come on. All right, here's what we're going to do. Let's back up. Maybe. There. Are you backed up? Okay. All right. Here we go. Let's try this again. See if we can get a little straighter on the start. Give the T-Series a fair shot at heading down the ski jump. Yeah, I think the problem was in that other attempt. Um, I don't think the wheel was actually out of the uh, ramp yet, which is so strange but you know hey we are oh my gosh uh we are flying that's what we're doing we are flying and again 200 meters for the t-series you know you can't beat the maximum distance so there you go the only recourse that the uh T-Series has is to do less damage to itself each time, and that's what happened here. Look at there, deformation, 29.46, so not as deformed, uh, and a 15.25 brokenness, so actually it manages to grab a round two score of 155.290, giving it an overall score of 154. 440. I'm just going to jump back here real quick. And the T Series last time had a 154.01. So the T Series actually is on fire. The T Series actually did better in this competition than it did in the preliminaries. I'm thinking that the T Series was holding something back just for the championship round. That, that's what I'm saying. All right. So, anyway, let's go with the uh, 800 Series. And here we go, the ETK 800 series heading down the hill. Well, no, it's not because my mouse is in the way. <laughs> you would think in all the experience I've had doing this, I would know to check that first. Instead, it's something we do almost every time. All right, so here we go. The 800 series into the air think we'll be okay oh yeah look at that that was looking fantastic uh oh we're end over end come on come back around what the wow 
The 800 series gets 200 meters. Holy smokes. I've, I've got to check something real quick. Where, where was the 800? Ah, well, the 800 series did clear 200 meters in its second round of the preliminary. So, wow, that's most impressive. So is the fact that it is dancing on its hind end right now. <laughs> that's great. All right, so we have a 28. 0.22 deformation and a 9.21 broken that actually puts the etk in front in terms of first round totals 162.57 wow this is this is gonna be tough stuff man this is oh uh, there we go all right so here we go we're going to uh, cruise on down the hill get things rolling here in the 800 series for its second heat find out just how far this little puppy can go uh oh uh oh we've got broken wheels we've got uh, i don't know man the popped wheels are gonna be a problem oh and that is oh how disappointing uh let's see where am i 110 that is a 110 for the second round and there's just nothing 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 <laughs> nothing I can do there and it is free falling okay well at least I was able to keep it away from well I wasn't it stayed away from the wall I didn't do jack on that one uh, in terms of trying to keep it away from the wall it did it all on its own 2872 deformation and a 1303 broken that is a round total of 68,250 and an average score of 115. Man, that is painful to see. Um, I don't know, man. It hit that transition and just blew the tires and away it went. So, uh, and I know some of you may, uh, I don't know, you, you may want to complain about that. You may want to take that to the judges. Uh, that is your prerogative, but. Uh, it's that that's the final here i'm afraid just one of those things that happens so right now we're going to take it to the bolide and let's get the bolide first round going here oh come on get it get it back over i don't i'm gonna I, you know what i recovered we're gonna, uh, man, this one just had nothing from the get-go. I don't feel comfortable with that one. That was that was operator error. I uh, just the the back end got away from me. There we go. That's better. There we go. There we go. All right, here goes the bolide. Much better. Much better user. <laughs> much better operator control. <laughs> All right, as usual, the bolide will do a rotation and then come back again. And that is 125 meters. That is the maximum that we've seen out of the bolide, if I'm not mistaken, every time it races. And we are just rolling down the hill and crossing over the finish line a 3562 deformation and an 8.12 brokenness giving it a first round total of 81 to 60 and let's do this and get the bolide back up to the top of the ramp for heat number two here comes the bolide it has a definitely lean to the left. Definitely wants to steer to the left as we're going. However, this is looking pretty good here. If I could get the back end to come back, but it just doesn't happen in the bullide. And yep, that's a <laughs> that's that's a 125. Whew, look at that. Alright, so there is another 125. And let's see what happens when we slide our way across the finish line. So 125 meters, 29.74 deformation, a 5.50 broken. 
Um, that actually gives it a much, well, not much, but it gives it a better second round score of 89,760. Overall, though, 85.510, which is not bad. Uh, and currently, of course, they sit in third place to move on to the top eight. So, there you go. <laughs> All, right. All right, and finally for this round, we have the 1988 Pessima, which really... The uh, 1988 Pessima, I think, surprised a lot of us <laughs> in the uh, preliminary rounds. Uh, it just took off like no one, at least not, not, the, not the way I expected anyway. I mean, just phenomenal performance. We'll see how it does here in the first round of the championship. Ski jumps, top 16, clearing over the top, and we are heading down. That is 100 meters even right there. Smack the 100 mark. Let's see if we can't get this puppy to stop. I can't get it to do anything. Okay. Catch on fire. <laughs> All right. 24.99 broken. I mean, a deform and a 4.95 broken on the first round. Whew. That's a first round score of 70.06. Mm. So, the poor Pessima, it's definitely looks like it's going to uh, finish things out in fourth place. We'll go from there. Boy, I, I really hate that the, uh, the wheels just busted on the 800 in that second round, man. That was mm, so unfortunate. Where are you going? Well, <laughs> let's see what happens here. And again, 100 meters, plain as day. Well, we're going to put the brakes on even though we're sliding on a roof and it's going to not do us any good at all. Yay, all right. So 100 meters, and this time we have 2205 deform, which is actually less of a deformation and a 4.13 broken. So it actually did better the second round, 73.82. Overall, 71.94, and there you have it. At the end of round one, the vehicles stack up just the way they were presented to us. <laughs> the T-Series is in first place with 154.440. Then we have the uh, 800 Series with 115.410. The Bolide in third so far, 85.51, and the 80... 88 Pessima with 71.940. There it is, folks. That is the end of first round action for the Ski Jump Championship. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you're enjoying these videos. Got any questions, problems, suggestions, horror stories? Feel free to leave those in the comment section down below. Like the video if you would. I certainly appreciate it. And we will see you next time for round two action of top 16 vehicles. We will have the Covet, the 200BX, the H-Series, and the Moonhawk coming up in the next round. We'll see you. Thanks for watching.